what's going on. First time I ever did this while I'm driving. Might give y'all a few bit, a few more. Take me out here chilling. But yo, I'm doing this in response to my man 78 Sports TV. He finally came out with a prediction video. He said it's a close fight. And he feels that I don't know why. But he feels that Cotto is going to stop Canelo late 10th round TKL. 70 sports fan. I'm a TV. I'm a big fan of your, your interviews, your YouTube, things of that nature. You do a great job. Highly respect your opinion. But brother, this is one time that you got it wrong. W-R-O-N-G. Wrong, brother. Now, let me tell you why Canelo is going to stop Cotto by no later than the 10th round. I thought about the when he fought at a younger younger age, a little bit lesser weight. Matter of fact, was he fighting at 147? I don't, I don't know. I haven't even looked up. For some reason, I keep thinking that Cotto was, I mean, that uh, Canelo's fight at 147. I could be wrong. I'm not near a computer to look at what weight class that was at. And yes, he did. I saw that fight. And I think that's the first uh, Canelo fight that I've actually seen. And yeah, Jose Cotto, he caught him with that hook. He rocked him. But he persevered and ended up beating Cotto. Now, he's a little bit older. And I know you say he's young, but... And he still is young. I understand what you're saying. But he's a lot older. He's developing to his own man's strength. He's getting bigger. He's fighting a little bit heavier between 154 and 160. He's stronger. He's more accurate. You can see the experience really setting in for him. Um, besides Floyd Mayweather, I mean, first of all, listen, nobody's beating Floyd Mayweather. No matter how strong you are, how quick. Wait. Before we finish the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe or else. Quick you are, you're just not going to beat boxing IQ. That's just the bottom line. Um, but listen, besides that, he's pretty much walked through most of his opponents. And I don't see this being any different of him walking through. No, I ain't going to say he's walked through because I don't want to make it seem like it's a walking apart because it isn't. Listen, and I'm not taking anything from Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto is a threat to anybody. Um, but at the same time, man, it just I just don't see it happening. I see Cotto backing up a majority of the time. And I see Canelo stalking him, walking him down. And he's going to hit him with them thud and shots. Listen, I just don't think... I don't know why, man, but I just don't think Cotto has the power to really hurt Canelo. I just I just don't see it. I think it'll sting him because he does have pop to his punches, but I don't see it hurting him or really just stunning him. And like I said, he's coming into his own grown man strength. And I think his youth, his experience, although he's not quite as experienced as Cotto, but he does have experience, so we can't take that away from him. The way he stood up to James Kirkland punches, I just let me know, okay, this guy, he, he's he's developing to a man. He's he's a man now. He ain't that little boy that Jose Cotto uh, was able to work around the ring. But bottom line, uh, 78 Sports TV, I, I just... I'll put my prediction up against your prediction. So you got uh, Miguel Cotto winning late 10th round TKO. I'm going to flip it the other way and have Canelo Alvarez uh, late round TKO in the 10th round. Um, all right, so listen, y'all leave your thoughts, comments, concern. 78 Sports TV, I know you'll probably respond to this. This is good. We can have a good dialogue uh, stating our opinions. And uh, let's see what happens when they fight. Either way, it's going to be a good fight. We're going to get our money's worth. So that's I'm looking forward to that more than anything.
All right, y'all, leave y'all thoughts, comments below. Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all agree with 70 Sports TV's prediction, or do you agree with my prediction? All right, we out.